Hey, glad you could finally show up to something. A pleasant surprise for one and all. Oh, you've been busy. Oh, you've been busy. Hasn't everyone been busy? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be money. I'm just... Mm. I've... Yeah, I've heard that a lot lately. Oh, sorry I'm busy with this. Oh, sorry I'm busy with that. You know, it's just... Not just you, I just mean... It's, uh... Been a rough little month for me. <laughs> well... I... I don't know. I guess I don't really want to talk about it. So anyway, where do you want to go? Our Christmas market of wonder awaits. No, I'm not overly excited. I mean, look, I... I don't want to be a killjoy or anything, but, uh... I'm starting to get kind of post-Christmas, I guess. Well, it's not about the presents, but it's not about the anything. I just, I see so many people talking about, you know, what they materially want, right? I want my parents or my boyfriend or my whatever to buy me this or that and it's just kind of really <laughs> what do I want for Christmas um let me think I want the brain of Albert Einstein I want the yeah, well, you can see where this is going, right? <laughs> I don't want material things or things. <laughs> this is the bit I don't get. Like, you really think that the next phone you get or the next car or the next whatever, you really think that's what's missing from your life? Like, does anyone think that? Seriously? Hey, if you're missing food, fair enough. That's pretty important to get, but... If you're missing some realistically minute upgrade on a material good, and especially people who are whining about it, oh my god, I don't have the latest iPhone. My life is like so over. Yeah, see, the thing is, it's really, really not. And if you think it is, that's worrying, but. <sighs> yeah. The things that would actually help people's lives at Christmas have nothing to do with material goods. Which is kind of why I'm not massively excited to go to says Christmas market, right? I mean, I've already bought people presents which are... Oh, well. How about you? How's your Christmas period going? Mm. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that sounds like an interesting present. I'm sure they'll like it. Well, I'm not sure, but <laughs> it's at least thoughtful, so that's saying a lot more than some people, you know. Well, I always thought a lot of people just kind of go, oh, what's the... Like, oh, here's this guy. Oh, look, Ramble. He likes beer. Okay, I'll buy him a box of beers from my local supermarket. It's like, okay, thanks, but I could have bought that myself. And there's no thought in it, really, you know? It's just like, what's the lowest hanging fruit? Ah, yes, okay, I'll take that. Excellent. Job done. You know, it's just a item from a checklist. I don't know. I would personally rather a gift that misses spectacularly and that I don't like 
but at least had thought put into it rather than just a safe, dull option that could have been brought over as a thanks for hosting for dinner as much as a, you know, supposedly season of well wishes and caring for your significant others and all that kind of stuff. It's, um, hmm. Do I still want to go? Yeah, we can, we can go. Well, I just, I just know what we're going to see there, I guess. I just mean, you know, like a bunch of overpriced stalls and, you know, things that you normally get for five pounds selling for 15 and yeah, it's just all going to be, you know, <laughs> like really rip offy and cheesy and yeah, it's, it's not. No, I, 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 I will, I'll get myself together and be a good, a good friend to hang out with. I just need to kind of shake the cynicism a little bit or, well, okay, you know me, but I shall try to work on the appearance that was shaking the cynicism a little bit. <laughs> Anyway, I keep... Oh. I keep meaning to say we don't hang out enough these days, you know? I mean, I suppose I haven't really sold myself as a fun person to hang out with in the last few minutes, but... Most of the time I like to think I'm at least... Enjoyable to be around. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I get it. Everyone's... Is that word again? Busy. Hmm. No, I know you're actually busy. I'm not. I'm not. It's not a criticism. I'm just. Anyway, let's. Uh... Oh, look. I see through a smile as I try to pretend to not be struck by the absolutely awesome price. Of a twelve pound bratwurst. Yes, that's uh that's for sure something. <laughs> what this <laughs> way? No, that is not even remotely acceptable. That is twelve pounds. It's a fancy hot dog. The Germans can say what they want. It's a fancy hot dog. No, don't get me wrong. It's on a different planet from a hot dog. It's a lot nicer, but twelve quid. Get lost. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Yes, it will cost a lot to rent a Christmas stall, but it's not going to cost that much. This is some shameless profiteering. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. Ah, yes, if people are buying it, what's the problem? My friend, you know what the problem is? Those people are being daft or manipulated or, you know, just kind of, oh, it's a Christmas mark, I'll just pay. It's only a little bit more unusual, right? No, it's miles more unusual, and you are getting conned. I did say I was going to try and at least pretend I wasn't being cynical, right? Uh, that's not going well. But at least I'm right. Uh, hey, look. <laughs> what? I'm not allowed to point out the pretty light display? Like, come on, I don't have to have a heartstone all the time, do I? I mean, there's certain things I look at that just make me happy, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, the lights are nice. Let's go find out what the rip-off food we can see. Huh? 
No, I, um... Nothing. Oh, I don't need to talk, I just... I... <laughs> sure, I'm not exactly in the festive spirit, I get that, I just... I... Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll... Okay, I mean... Yeah, I know. I know. I've been off today. I am off today. I'm just... I'm so... <laughs> I'm so tired of being... Of having to put on a face as I... We come to this place, and all I see are couples holding hands. And that's not the only thing that's here, but it's all I see. And... You know, I, I try and keep up with old friends, but they're all too busy for me. And I try and reach out to most people. They don't... You know, I'm not their best friend. I'm their other other friend. I'm the friend that they care about when their best friend and their good friends are all busy and oh yeah I guess I can see you this once every you know six months I guess and I you know long past age of mum and dad being well even near me for Christmas and seasons, greetings, and all this kind of stuff, and I just look around, and all I see are stores trying to get people to buy the latest, fanciest products to somehow show their love for the people they care about, and all I wish is that I could just be around the people I care about. Or that the people I care about cared about me as much as I did them. And I feel like this time of year is just proving to me that I'm not exactly Mr. Popular, that even my own family aren't that fussed. Oh, we'll see him later. Oh, we'll maybe see him at Christmas itself, maybe, if it, if the stars align. And it's not anyone's job to like me or indulge me in my wish of being cared about. It's not, you know, their fault or anything. It's just It's just that I come to Christmas market like this and I see all these people. And they're all here to get something for somebody. To get a, a, some, you know, a, a gift made of whatever, some physical substance or maybe a ticket to an experience or something like that. And it's never. You could find me any gift you wanted and it wouldn't be what I want. <laughs> All this buying and buying and ceaseless buying. As if that's the point. As if it's just... <laughs> it's just money. As if life's just money. As if... All that anyone has time for is the next thing to make them money or the next thing to distract them from the job they don't like and they're all running around so fast and then oh it's Christmas time, it's Christmas time, we're supposed to be celebrating on Christmas. <laughs> Screw Christmas! <laughs> Screw Christmas, I'm lonely. And I don't need a card or a phone or a a drink or any of it. I just need someone to... I just need someone who wants me. Not a gift I can give them, not the distraction, not... But wants me. And again, I know it's not anyone's job or...
I know nobody owes me anything. I... All I really want is... I guess hope. A chance of feeling that... Someday something might happen and instead of... Just being despondent and... Drifting from one day to the next with no real... Hope that... Well... No real hope that you're gonna... Feel the way... I feel... That when we walk around this market... It's not a matter of grandiose gifts and gestures. It's not a matter of social media statuses and informing everybody of what we're doing. And it's not a matter of being the always happiest or being the wealthiest or being the, I don't know, best looking or whatever else. It's just, it's not about anyone else. I just want to not have to fight against the urge to hold your hand and try to make you laugh. And to just do all the stupid little affectionate things that, that I've wanted to do for years. And that I guess I never had the guts to admit that that's what I really wanted. And that's probably not anyone's idea of a classically romantic confession or even... I just don't want to feel like I'm hiding anything from you anymore. If that makes you feel differently about me or that you don't want to be around me anymore, I just don't want to hide. I just don't want to hide anything. If you tell me it's not going to happen, I'll respect that I'll never not bother you again with it, but I just... I can't keep pretending that I can buy you a nice little gift and smile and let you wander off again you know without knowing how much you mean to me without knowing that you're the most amazing person I've ever met without knowing that every night I wish every time I turn over in bed I wish I could feel you cuddling up to me or <sighs> and hell even if we did maybe it wouldn't even work you know it's <laughs> but I always felt that spark of something more there, just hiding away under the surface. I have no idea if you did. I sometimes feel like I catch you looking at me a certain way, but then I get in my own head and think, maybe it's wishful thinking, maybe I'm just trying to manifest the uh, desired reciprocal feelings into being maybe I'm just being delusional <laughs> even this I mean this whatever we're gonna call confession it 
It's not exactly a well-planned one, is it? <laughs> it's not exactly designed to sweep you off your feet and make you feel like the most special person in the world to me, which is really what it is. Or what it maybe should have been. I guess now having fumbled and bumbled through this, I guess I can just hope that in the end, the honesty of it means something the way honesty to each other at other times has always meant something. I don't know if those are happy tears or I can't really tell and it's um well I'm a bit nervous at the moment <laughs> which is taken over from the general ennui are you is this all just too much or yeah <laughs> and um in a good way? Really? Really? I don't even know what to say. I just... Don't say anything. Yeah, yeah, okay. If I just hold your hands and look at you for a little while and just remember this image forever, let's just let's just stand just for a little while, okay. <laughs> 